understood that their much vaunted virtue is decidedly undervalued from a moral viewpoint because it is a virtue without alternatives. My Indeed, they cannot be less than virtuous since it is a fact that their men are noted for their preference for colored girls. They are virtuous, to be sure. Hi. They have no other choice. They are women unfulfilled since their husbands and possible lovers prefer the dusky charms of the plantation wenches, the fillies, the shows, as they call them. These young colored girls bursting with lusty youth whom they enjoy so lecherously. Oh, well, oh, here, oh, How is it possible to write such film? Propaganda. Political propaganda. What can they know about Negroes and Negresses, these landless louts in Boston and Philadelphia? Nothing but their envy and prejudice. Their malice causes them to try and offend us, to debase and humiliate us. God in heaven, that they should insult our men, our husbands in this way. Shame. To suggest that our men would have intercourse with our slaves, who are little better than animals. Exactly. Dear God, it is an accusation of sexual aberration. Oh, this abnormal maiden between black and white. There's a scientific word for it. It's called bestiality. Such disgusting lies. Do we not all know who are the objects of our husband's incontinence? We, wherever Friday night must undergo... Oh, what am I saying? <coughs> Don't you all think it might be wiser not to speak too frankly in front of them? Don't worry. They understand about as much of white folks' talk as the furniture does. But isn't it remarkable? The longer they stay among us, the lighter they get. Yet their mentality, sensitivity, and intelligence remain that of the brute animal. It's really true. Yes, it seems to me that each generation gets lighter. I know in our place, we keep having cubs with rosy skins. My husband says it's because of... Uh, symbiosis. That's the scientific term, symbiosis. Like those animals who take on the color of the background in which they live. Your husband's absolutely right. It's true. Quite correct, my dear. Look at Scipio. He's left-handed like my brother. And see, Jason? My husband brought him up from childhood and now, isn't it remarkable? He shows some of my husband's blondness. Extraordinary. Truly, nature is bizarre. One, two... Three. Ah, that's just right. Uh, three black peppercorns with glass of port, and you have an excellent digestive. Ah. That's what I always say. Black is always tasty. Take, for instance, a nice piece of black meat, juicy and soft, even if it's slightly gamey. That's the best part. Their gamey taste. Always so easy to digest, even if eaten at bedtime. <laughs> Much better than our weekly ration of white meat. A tasteless snack that leaves you tossing and turning all night long. <laughs> that may be true in this uncivilized country, but it cannot compare, as I have found, to the French. We've heard enough about your French bitches. Wait till he's married to a wife who thinks all men are disgusting animals. Then he can tell us what kind of fun he gets in her bed. Indeed, that is because you don't know how to put a dash of pepper in it. Truly, you are peasants, with the tastes of peasants. You like pepper in your pot, and the musky stench of your servants. Uncivilized. Easy, son. Easy. I have known other peasants like me and you to slip out of the bed of Madame Pompadour or some such bitch to find a tastier snack in Mammy's larder. <laughs> appreciative of all you. Come on in. Uh, just a moment. Let's follow those girls. 
As I was saying, dear Lord, I'm real obliged to you for all you've given this deserving but humble servant today and for all that I know you will give me tomorrow. I thank you for the wisdom you endowed me with at birth, the countless good deeds you inspire me to do, and I also reckon I should thank you for closing your divine eye to a few little transgressions I got planned for tonight. Come on, you. Get in here. But in humble sincerity, dear Lord, let me take this opportunity to thank you for my continuing stamina and finally for the riches you've already bestowed on me, which I'm sure you wish me to keep and to multiply. Amen. You like my prayer? I made it up myself. When a man knows good from evil, he's much better off making up his own prayers. Me and God, we get along good. As I see it, God created me in his image and likeness. That's in the Bible. That's why I'm white. Then he made the Negro, uh, which is also in the Bible, which says that he immediately regretted it and damned the entire race, leaving them without a soul fit only to be my slaves. Then with the night come these black ghosts, damned by God. I say ghosts only because of their damn blackness. But they have a body. Ah, uh, what a body. Look at her. To avoid him is to lose God's battle. The trap to tonight is to conquer him, the victory of light over darkness. At my age, it's something of a task. But with God's help, my friend, and these, <laughs> well, it's late. I got work to do. That child want you. What do you mean? I does you want me, Master? I's bathed all over, and Master, as a virgin. A virgin? My God, how old are you, child? Thirteen. What? Thirteen, I guess, according to Mammy. Thirteen? Thirteen? But such a child. It's still a child. My God, aren't you ashamed? So young. Does you want this first, Master? Mammy told me sometimes white folks must play with this before they can pleasure the girls. This is madness. What wicked person taught you such things? Just imagine the trouble I'd be in if someone... Oh, my God, me 13, 13. You can't do this to me. No, no, Master, please. Don't send me away, please, Master. Quiet. Uh, please, don't send me away. Please, please don't make please, so much Master, noise. Pleasure me. Pleasure me. What? Please, Master. Right now, here. Your bed is so big, and I'm so small. And if I take off my dress, I don't smell. Do I, Master? I don't smell. If you is really sleepy, Master, I won't bother you. But it's too bad, Master. I like you so much, Master. It would be so good with you, Master. Mammy wouldn't beat me no more. This is unbelievable. Um, are you really a virgin? Oh, no, child. You see, if you must do it, it, it would be better with someone your own age and perhaps color. You mean with a black man, Master? 
No, no. I don't like black men, massa. No, massa. I can't stand black men. Once, so mammy wouldn't whip me, I had to try it. He hurt me, massa. Too big, too strong. White man is smaller, massa. Better for the first time. And they not smell, massa. Oh, massa. Massa, please. Please do it to me, massa.